One of the diseases I deal with most commonly is rheumatoid arthritis. It is an autoimmune disease, again, that is a disease where the patient's immune system attacks the patient's joints. Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease that's commonly thought of as a disease that is exclusive to the joints, but that's not really true. Rheumatoid arthritis has the, the capabilities affecting multiple organ systems, so the eye, the heart, the lung, um, the skin, uh, just to name a few. So it is a systemic disease as well. It's probably the most common inflammatory disease uh, that we see in rheumatology, that is uh, an arthritic condition that's characterized by swelling and warmth and redness of the joints uh, in, in some patients. Um, most of the damage done uh, in rheumatoid arthritis is done early on. Um, these patients come in complaining of joint pain, naturally, but they'll also complain of stiffness, uh, difficulty completing their normal activities of daily living, difficulty um, um, using their hands, both for fine manipulation and for gross manipulation, as the finger joints and the toe joints are mo most commonly uh, affected by rheumatoid arthritis. But the key here is, and the ma major advances that we've made in rheumatoid arthritis come from the fact that we're able to diagnose the disease earlier. We have um, some clinical guidelines that help us make the diagnosis, as well as blood work that early on can show evidence of uh, an inflammatory condition, um, as well as some tests that are relatively specific for rheumatoid arthritis uh, in terms of diagnosis. Um, the key to making the diagnosis early is that's when you can prevent damage. If you don't act early, if you don't act aggressively to control the inflammation, the patient's joint is going to be affected and long term the only um, recourse may be surgery down the road like a, a replacement or some sort of reconstructive um, surgery. But the key is we want to attack rheumatoid arthritis before it attacks the patient to a significant degree. Get the disease under control. And the marvelous thing that's happened in the last 10 to 15 years is we now have targeted therapies. These are biologic agents that were developed by, by um, by researchers that actually target the, the nidus of inflammation, the, the initiator of inflammation. And if we control the, that, we control the inflammation. So when I was a fellow, we used to talk about remission, but that was more fantasy than real 30 years ago. Today, um, it's very possible to get patients in remission or at a state of low disease activity. Here at the University of Maryland, uh, we use a multidisciplinary approach. Um, that is a team approach. The rheumatologist is sort of the coordinator of care, but I use all the resources available to me at the University of Maryland. So it's not uncommon that I will refer patients to the physical therapist, occupational therapist, to the pain management specialist, to complementary medicine physicians. And these are physicians that uh, have an expertise in non-pharmacologic methods of treating pain, uh, such as acupuncture and acupressure and biofeedback. Uh, et cetera. Um, in addition, we use all the resources at Maryland, and I will oftentimes use for those individuals who have systemic disease, uh, referrals to our nephrologists, ophthalmologists, uh, nephrologists, so we can take complete care of the patients with systemic autoimmune disease.